I was born in England, though my ancestors originate from the mountain strongholds of Afghanistan, where they have been warlords, statesmen, and princes since the 9th century. Searching for the horde of Ahmed Shah has been a thread running through my family for a century and a half. The search for Ahmed Shah's treasure is really a preoccupation for the part of my family, the branch, which left Afghanistan in 1842 um, with Jamfa Shan Khan when they went to India. As a child, my father told and retold a story that haunted my dreams, and I tell it to my own children now. A man in an iron mask forcing an army of slaves to load thousands of sacks of gold into a cave. The man in the mask was Ahmed Shah Durrani, the first king of Afghanistan, and his massive treasure was stolen from Mughal India. The Afghan Ahmed Shah Durrani was a young general in the service of the Persian emperor who sacked Delhi in 1739. The vast treasury of Mughal India was forced open and its contents loaded onto a colossal caravan of horses, camels and elephants. The famous Kohenor diamond was one of many treasures the Persian emperor took away. But he didn't live to appreciate it for long. He fell victim to an assassination plot. Ahmed Shah Durrani took the diamond from the emperor's still warm chest and escaped with his men back to Afghanistan, taking the treasure caravan with him. Durrani was crowned first king of Afghanistan in 1747 by the saintly Sabir Shah. The Kohenor diamond, the only known relic originating from the initial Mughal treasure, remained in Afghanistan until the early 19th century. Today, it's in the Tower of London, among Her Majesty's crown jewels. The rest of the legendary treasure is still hidden in caves somewhere in the mountains of Afghanistan. I knew that um, the treasure of Ahmed Shah Durrani was very important in our family, and certainly I know that my father searched for it. But when I was only 13, the Afghan Mujahideen started their struggle against the invading Soviet army. When the US Army crushed the Taliban five years ago, I found an invaluable aid in my mission to find the gold of Ahmed Shah. I was going through a lot of my grandfather's papers, which I had inherited, but only um, had time to read once he moved here. Then I found this notebook. It was a compilation of notes from my grandfather's own journeys in Afghanistan, searching for the treasure over 70 years ago. It was full of cryptic clues and secret codes. This accumulated information has been left in this notebook, in this box file, with all my father's papers for a particular reason, for me to happen upon it and to start a search of my own.